Holy crap, guys. It is here. We have Pixar. We have it early. The game that I was pretty much anticipating for quite a long time now, and we're ready to play it. Here we go. So before we fully get into it, I'm doing an Instagram giveaway for Pixar and I'm doing a Twitter giveaway for Pixar. So just make sure you're followed on both of those and I will let you know how to enter those giveaways in the near future. All the links are underneath the video. So if you guys are new here, be sure to click on that subscribe icon. Make sure you're also pressing on the bell notification as well because I'm gonna be posting a lot of Pixar over the next few pretty much months because the game has a ton of content in store. If you guys don't know what Pixar is, I recommend go looking at their trailer, but kind of imagine a voxel based arc. That's pretty much what it is. Pixelated arc. So we're in the character creation menu right now and I'm going to give it a go. Um, I really like the loincloth feel, but I also kind of like the thatch feel. We're going to go with the loincloth and let's go with a certain hairstyle. Hmm. I kind of like the bowl cut. It looks really funny. Hair color. So if you're a true royal fan, you always go kind of like towards the dark red. Go ahead if you guys get in the game and tweet me the picture of your guy using rocking the, the dark red hair. Because that's definitely something that needs to happen. If you guys are exciting for this game, or excited for this game, because past tense is a thing that people use in the English language, leave a like on the video. I appreciate all the support that you guys can give. Uh, the eyebrows, he looks kind of mean right there. Let's keep this. But show all the support that you guys possibly can. I appreciate it. Instagram, Twitter, etc. Everything below. Ooh, I like those like real beady eyes. Let's go with a little bit of a beard. Maybe some chops. Kind of like the way the chops look. That's funny. And we have some jewelry as well, it looks like. Did I just see like, what the heck was that? All right. I don't know what this one is. It looks like some earrings. Ooh, we got a pipe. An eye patch. A binky. <laughs> I'm definitely giving him these these swagadocious glasses. I look like I'm from the Beatles, but I dyed my hair red. Rally point one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm also playing in single player right now. There's a chance that our, our save will be definitely reset when the game releases on March 27th, so keep that in mind. Let's do rally point. We'll just do two because it starts in the dead center, top of the map. Oh, we can do even do arm length and everything. I don't want to mess with this stuff. I kind of want to stay pretty normal. And it looks like you can also go female if you want to. But I'm going to stay male. And uh, let's name ourselves Royal and let's jump in, guys. We're getting into Pixar now. Here's the loading screen. I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to this game, especially all you ARC viewers out there. So I'm really happy to be giving you this gameplay. I'm going to be doing two live streams on the 25th of March. So look out for the notifications for that and if you guys are watching this series a while after the game came out there's going to be a massive playlist in the link below in the description that will tell you and you can click on it and you can see every single little thing that uh has been posted on pixar and go binge watch it so but for right now okay e to collect we're getting some magic berries looks like we're in third person mode right now so I to open your inventory to apply your property points and earn, learn new engrams. Okay. Tribe governance. We have a quest manager, engram. So these are the engrams that we learn. I think we start with these engrams here. Of course, we need to learn the campfire. And it does tell you, look, so if you learn the campfire, you learn cooked meat, cooked prime meat, baked long grass, and roast sava root. And then I'm assuming you need to learn all the cloth clothing as well. Storage box is something that I can also learn. So how many do we actually have? And max level 65, it seems like. Oh, no, 80? I think it was level 80. And if we press I, we can also go up in, obviously, health, because that's what you do when you're a new time arc player. So shift and W to run. Whee! I guess it, I'm assuming it's going to tell us how to go into first person pretty soon as well. All right. So let's gather some stuff. I definitely gonna have to change some controls around. I've always used tab for my inventory and arc, so that could lead to being an issue. All right, so let's punch a tree. C to crouch. There we go. We got some dark wood. Uh, we need thatch and whatnot in order to obviously craft our first tools and whatnot. Right now, this is completely vanilla. So, obviously, normal rates. I am so excited for this game, guys. I'm so happy that I got it early. And uh, 
I went through a lot of hoops to get it early. I messaged a lot of people, so I hopefully you guys do appreciate how much effort I did put into trying to get this game out to you guys early. Get some more dark wood. It doesn't seem like dark wood is actually what we want right now. We want regular wood. Space bar to jump. So it's giving us like a minor tutorial when we start. Obviously you have all your XP, your food, your weight, your stamina, your health in the bottom right corner, just like Ark. Uh, for those wondering, yes, you can indeed tame dinosaurs and creatures in this game. Like right here, here's our first dinosaur, our first Pteranodon. What's up, dude? Hi, Pteranodon. You scan our dinosaur when empty handed. Oh, whoa, so there's like a scanner. So it tells us it's wild, female, grassland, outer, novice, grassland, normal creature. It's fast and slightly powerful with really low HP. Okay, what about the- oh my god, it's so adorable. Look at him! He's so cute and cuddly! Hi! <gasps> the dodo! <gasps> Pteranodon! I'm, I'm overwhelmed! What do I do? <gasps> Fiomias! Come here! You're so cute! Open my inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inventory, whatever. I'm too busy looking at him. The big ear rabbit? That's new, so that's like a creature that they might have added to the game. I'm thinking maybe K? So we have the K vision again. I'm scroll wheeling in, but it's not giving me first person. And of course I get the tutorial now to press the middle mouse button to go into first person. We'll play a little bit of both. Mostly first person because it's really cool. Here's a male, male packy. Hi. Hi, my dude. Alright, so how do we get thatch? Okay, so we're gathering thatch off the ground. A little bit different from, obviously, Ark Original. Okay, okay. We're gonna take what we got, though. We got some rocks, we got some other stuff. And let's make our first hatchet of the game. I don't know why crafting a single hatchet is so exciting for me. Now we can whack trees. Now we can whack trees. And here's our map. Oh, so Doomlands, Dark Forest, Frozen Land, Golden Realm, Magic Forest, Desert, Swamp, Mountain Forest, Grassland, Novice, Grassland, Deep Ocean. Uh, uh Hunting Quest, Collection and Planting Quest. Uh, the quest refresh, so there there is going to be what I think is daily quests. So I think that's a three hour timer, three hour and 20 minutes in order to see your quests. And if we go ahead and we control and Q, we can go to our quest manager. You haven't accepted any quests yet. So press M key to open your map and see the locations of quest mailboxes. Once you've completed a quest, you need to return to the mailbox in which you accepted the quest to submit it and get your reward chest. That's really cool. So it gives you like an objective versus just like taming and building. Once you've completed each of the quest types for that day, you can get a large reward chest. Ooh, we're not gonna be able to do that today. All right, looks like we have a uh, command manager right there as well, just similar to Ark. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and look what we need. What else do we need? Nothing much. Maybe we can learn a little bit of cloth. Ooh, whoa, okay, so we got some different stuff here. Primitive skill, metallurgy, industrial skill, magic skills, and architecture master. Holy crap, there's a lot of different things in here for us. Okay, so we're just gonna start by probably just heading out and let's see what we can explore and find. Maybe we'll try a little bit of building. We're just gonna ooh and awe over a whole bunch of stuff to start probably, and then... <gasps> what? It's called a sauropod, of course. I'm still gonna be calling it a Bronto. What are you? You've discovered a quest mailbox! Whoa! Okay, find a relic tre treasure box. Difficulty three. I don't think I'll be able to do that quite yet, but it's good to have a quest just in case you never know. Character info. We're going to go up in a little bit more HP as before. So control Q again to open up our quest menu. Whatever, whatever. And uh, it wants us to complete that quest now. What up, Sauropod? Let's go ahead and gather some... I think... Oh, is this just stone or is this like iron? Oh, this is flint! Okay, so you don't pick up flint off the ground anymore. And it's not really rocks, it's actually like an entity, part of the world. That's really awesome. Okay. Okay, I will take it. I will definitely take it. I am so excited for this game, guys. Oh my god, I can't hold it in. I can't hold it back, I gotta keep telling you. If you guys are just as excited as I am, definitely, definitely leave a like on the video because it supports the channel heavily. And I really, really am looking forward to playing more and more of this game as time goes on. So let's go on our inventory real quick. I need to eat me some berries. 
Azul berries. They're just, everything's so, like, cute and adorable. Oh, another quest thing. What's this quest? Let's see, let's pick it up real quick. Accept this quest. Hunting expert, difficulty 11. Kill a Fiomia. Oh, difficulty 1. Let's complete a quest real quick. We must be able to learn at least something to fight pretty soon. We don't have a bow or anything yet, but we could probably get a spear and maybe block one into a corner. But we need to hit level 6 first, of course. Let me go ahead and make a campfire. A wooden stick? Maybe with a piece of wood, but by simple processing, it doesn't deal much damage, but it can inflict stun. So it's kind of like a club. So maybe we can go stun a doe. Ooh, how about the bunny rabbit? I feel real bad, but... Oh, well. I pwned it. That was quick and easy. So this is the inventory. Wait, what is... Oh, it's just the fur, okay. I was about to transfer all my inventory into it. That would have been bad. Open a little bit more health there. Can we just kill a Fiomia? It stunned it, but we all know about Fiomias, how they just tend to kind of run away. Come here, Fiomia. Oh, I'm whacking everything now. I don't want to piss any... Oh! I angered it! I angered it! No, no! Leave me alone! I didn't mean it! I didn't mean it! Leave me alone! I don't want to die this early! Hey! Quit it! Quit it! Quit it! Yeah, that's what I thought. Back off. Alright, it seems like it gave up. There we go. Let's kill our dodo. What is this box? A dodo box? Oh, so it's kind of like... Oh, another Fiomia just showed up. He not, he's not happy. He's not happy. Ha! I'm trying to jump away from it if I can. Leave me alone, leave me alone. No, it's gonna kill me. I don't want to die to Fiomia. I didn't know that they would be so aggressive. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. He's got really good tracking too. All right, leave me alone. Okay, we got away. We're on the other side of the water now. We should be fine. I think we're good. No piranhas, just a couple of dolphins in this lake. Nice, wonderful. Hi dolphins. I'm gonna drink your water real fast. We need to get campfire crafting right away. It's starting to get... Oh. Oh, I'm Dilo! Dilo! Huh! Cheek! Who? Huh? It's much harder to get away from dinosaurs in this game because they can go up the same amount of blocks you can. You no. Ha. Ha. He. Ah. Uh, well, level 60 Dilo, first thing we died to. Feels bad, man, dude. All right. Let's respawn again. Oh, I see my dead body right over there. That's not too bad. Oh, and we kept our items. Okay, so maybe you... Okay, I believe you keep your toolbar, is what it seems like. So if you keep your toolbar, then we must just have to go back to get our berries and whatnot. That's a raptor. I'm not getting anywhere near you. You stay away from me. You just stay right away from me. Reset our food and water, too, so it's not really much of a minus. It's kind of nice, and we spawned really close again. All right. Come on, Dilo. I'm gonna beat you up now. That's what I thought. Just bopped him one off the side. Haha! -ha. Oh, I don't know how he spit on me there. I should be able to knock this out. I should be able to. Yep, it's running. It's running. Maybe I should tame it. Haha! -ha. All right, we knocked it out. It needs a bit of meat though, is the problem. I only have two meat on me right now. Maybe my body's gonna have a bit more meat. But I also kind of need to eat some meat. Starting to run low on HP. And food. Well, I guess I got my HP back and my food back, so maybe we could just tame the Dilo. It'll be our first tame. Hi, Dilo. Um... How do we get to its inventory, though? Is this the inventory right here? Is there a taming inventory or something? Transfer items. Not sure how to do this. It's a little different, because this is not the inventory of the dinosaur, this is the inventory of myself. Put food in inventory to tame. Access inventory? I don't see an inventory. Clay, used to make construction parts. Okay. So this, I would assume, is its inventory, right? You would assume. 
but it's not. I kind of just want to kill it for XP now, because I don't really want to die low anyway. And I don't want to look like a doofus sitting here for an hour trying to figure out how to put food into it. Wow, this does not do damage, huh? Also, one thing I'm realizing is there's no durability. It seems like we're pretty much fine on the no durability front. Alright, so I just got two food out of it. Getting a bit of leather. Wonderful. Okay. Kill the Dilo. We're not going to tame right away. We'll tame tomorrow. It's fine. Oh, hi, Sarko. I'm not going down there. Maybe we're heading a little bit too far into the swamp now. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of stamina for ourselves. Engram-wise, we just learned the spear, so we might as well do that. Decoration hut. A hut do-it-yourself. Use this to build your own beautiful home. Produce decorations here and make your home lovely and special. Patchy saddle. Storage boxes. Cloth armor. Probably should learn the cloth armor. It's the storage, the leather sleeping bag. Thatch building. I would love to tame Apache, which is our first dinosaur to tame in the game. Hoop. Keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. But I'm not sure how much I can take on. Oh, hi, Raptor. How close are we to getting ourselves a nice pickaxe is the question, or uh, a, uh, a bow and arrow is my question. So are we putting these things on? There we go. Oh, look at us, dude. We're looking pretty swagalicious. And by swagalicious, I mean absolutely awful. <laughs> Works by me, though. As long as it's cloth and it gives me a bit of armor, I'm okay with it. So look at the obelisk, dude. There's so much to explore, guys. So many, so many things to do. It's pretty insane. I'm pretty sure that raptor is way too high of a level for us. We should avoid all contact with it. Because it'll mess us up. Level 32. Yep, we're staying away from that guy. I like this location. We have a little cave going on right here. We have a little bit of a bunny situation. A whole bunch of dodos for food. Alright. Knock all of them out. Wonderful. I'm gonna eat this dodo. There we go. Gather its body real fast. There we go. Again, gather its body. So the body kind of comes up in a cube form and its body just kind of like pops all over the place. It's kind of... It's gross yet keto at the same time. Alright, so this is where we put the food. Oh no, we can just tell it to craft out of our inventory. But we need fuel first. Let's put the dark wood in there. We can't. Dark wood is very hard and it makes for good construction material. Okay, so it's a different type of construction material. We're gonna take half. Thank god the uh, controls are a bit the same when it comes to uh, this game. Like T and shift to split and whatnot. Ooh, look at that special mushroom down there. There's also a level two Fiomia, and he's in a trapped, eh, I wouldn't say trapped, but in a spot in which we can tame him and complete our quest. So maybe we should go after him real quick. Here we go. Hi, Fiomia. This one's not gonna get angry at me. Oh, and he's stuck, ha ha. We need to kill this thing, by the way. That's what our quest calls for. Die, Fiomia! Haha, we killed one. Alright, so now let's go turn in the quest and see what... What the? What the? What the heck? Stay away, stay away, stay away! I didn't... What? A mushroom attacked me? Yo! Leave me alone! I don't know why nothing would do with evil mushrooms. No thank you. No thank you. Game. Jeez. <gasps> Hi, big ear rabbit. You're so cute. Um, access inventory. Let's grab the the meat from it. That cooked rather quickly. Put that in our inventory. We're gonna keep a little bit just in case we want to tame in the near future. There we go. Now we have plenty of food. We can go drink our water too. 
wonderful. And let's go up in just a little bit more health. I want to get up to like 200 HP to start, probably. And let's go turn in our Fiomia quest. It might be the one that's really, really glowing. I'm assuming it's going to be this one. Submit quest! Whoa! Look at that! Oh, privilege certificate. Extend soil privileges for a certain amount of time. Whoa, look at that. So it gave us like a little thing. You successfully completed a quest. Remember to take your quest reward. It can be found in the quest mailbox. There are five different, uh, five types of quests all together. You can only complete each type of quest once every day. Check the map to see the status of each quest. Once you completed all five types, something, something, something. You get the special reward, I'm assuming, right? That's what happens. That's what they said about it last time. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna find a relic treasure box though. I don't think that's something that's gonna happen anytime soon. But I'm thinking we can build a wee little base, maybe like right here. Maybe at least begin on some thatch foundations because I wanna see what the building's like. So let's go ahead and leather sleeping bag is probably a pretty smart idea. And it seems like we need a whole bunch of fiber. So let's go around collecting a little bit of fiber. I'm pretty sure this is how I got fiber last time. I could be mistaken. We might actually have to go to... Yep, we gotta go to like these little trees for fiber. Later on, we can get some creatures and dinosaurs and stuff that will help us gather it, of course. Ooh, a little mushroom. A little mushroom action. This, gun, th this game runs beautifully, by the way, in case you guys were wondering. Absolutely wonderfully. I know that's a huge concern with a lot of people on the lower tier PCs. I guarantee you this game could easily run on some lower end laptops because right now I'm running easily at like 200 FPS and uh, on the highest settings without issue. Obviously it's not like the most demanding game, but it's still like pretty looking. Like it's like kind of like, you know, how Minecraft was pretty even though it's like voxel based, it's still pretty. You know, there's a way to make it look pretty without having like superb graphics. And I think this game pulls it off. I'm definitely looking forward to some more of it. All right, let's build our little thatch hut right over here. Thatch foundation. I believe they actually craft in ones. So let's just do 12. And it seems like weight is a lot lesser in this game, which is a really nice addition. So we're going to build like here. Because I want to be like right on the edge of everything. So we're going to need probably another 12, to be honest. Craft times are very short, which is also wonderful. It seems like they took a lot of things that people were kind of upset about when it came to Ark Survival Evolved, and they changed those things. That way, people buying this game right off the bat wouldn't be upset with the outcome of the game. You know, they learned from Ark's mistakes and they created a wonderful game so far. Once we get into taming and killing and checking balancing of certain creatures, we'll find out if things are actually truly better or balanced or however uh, we decide in the future. But right now, I don't want to tame something quite yet. I definitely want to stick to, you know, the basics of the game, build a little thatch hut. We'll build something during the live streams tomorrow. I think is a good choice for us. Here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and do some more stamina. So, so far we're level 10. We're not doing too bad. Level 10 is a reasonable level. I don't know if we can possibly... Uh, what piece of armor do we need? Legs, hands. There we go. Wonderful. We got legs and hands. We have a chest to put some stuff away. Oh, a thatch carpet. A thatch door. We're going to need one of those. I kind of like that it's a door and not just a door frame and a door. I do like that decision. And it looks like you can off... Oh, no, maybe the door is too wide. Look at that. That's really nice. That's just so fluid and nice. I like it. Okay. So let's work on some walls real quick. And it looks like walls are just going to be cubes, which I'm not a huge fan of. I wish they could do like flat walls of some sort so they wouldn't take up a whole foundation on their own. You definitely need to build a little bit bigger in this game, I'd say. It's going to be a pretty confined room here. But it's going to be a room nonetheless. They have 200 HP per wall. Foundation has 600, three times as strong. Assuming in a PvP scenario, Thatch is not going to hold up very well. I mean, just like in every other 
ARC game that has released, obviously. An ARC mod and ARC DLC and everything. So nothing new here. Let's keep going on our Engram screen and see if we got anything new. Wood chairs, cooking pots, wood spikes. Ooh, that's really cool. So maybe we put those on the outside of our house. We're, we're starting to get into the wood ages. I'm going to start with thatch, of course. I'm not going to completely just jump right to stone. And level 15 is the bow, which is really nice. I kind of like the thatch house. And then we can build like a stone house next to it and just kind of like work our way out of this environment. I didn't even notice a big giant blue obelisk right there. Okay. And the sun is setting. This is our first night in Pixark. Wowee, dude. I can't wait to explore that cave, too. Go cave diving? I feel like that would be really wonderful. I definitely, in the next uh, live stream, we're just going to be taming stuff. We're just going to tame stuff galore. We're going to try the dodos, the packies, the pterodons. We're going to tame a little bit of everything. And then uh, we're definitely going to go uh, cave diving at some point. So. Let's put down the chest that we crafted. Which is on eight. It takes up one nice little spot. It's kind of nice that everything's on a grid system, I will say. Because without everything being on a grid system with arc, like you can stack things and, you know, you can do some really weird building stuff. But in this game, it seems like that's never going to be like something that people will be able to do. Stacking glitches and whatnot won't be a thing. I mean, you can really layer your walls, of course, in PvP. Um, but. I mean, I feel like explosions and whatnot will definitely slash damage and penetrate a lot more thicker. Because I'm thinking in a PvP scenario for this game as well, not just in High Toronadon. That's a really weird spot to land. I'm thinking in a PvP sense as much as I am in the PvE sense. Let's go around and get a little bit more fiber. It seems like building's going to be kind of easy. I mean, from what I have so far, I mean, I've barely gathered at all. And, like, look how much stuff, like, I've already built... And like one thatch wall is one fiber, one thatch. I'm assuming wood's gonna be like one thud, one 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 thud, one wood, one fiber, like a piece of thatch. Like really easy to build because they're just they're one by ones. So I mean I guess it adds up quick if you're doing a huge base, but it's like I need 300 cubes. Okay, let me get 300 thatch and 300 fiber. Like you kind of know what you need. Nope, oh, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Yep, yep. He doesn't have a huge aggro range, thank God. All right. These turds? Oh, yeah, they're little turds. I was like, what the heck are those? And they turned out to be turds. All right, there we go. Get a little bit more thatch, a little bit more fiber. All right, let's build a little bit more of our house. Crafting stats, and let's go ahead and build, build like 25, shall we? Oh, not 25 torches. We did need a torch though. Let's see what the torch looks like. So we go into the torch, and then we go ahead and we zoom in on it. We can whack with it too. Can we place it on like a wall or something? Press shift for more options. You can pick up your items, just like how you have the S plus mod in Arc. Now you can just pick up your items. You don't have to break them. I, don't, I still am not completely sure why Arc hasn't added to that to their full game yet, and it's still a mod, but... I do appreciate them looking after us over at Pixar and making sure that we can pick up our building stuff. So that way we don't have to just break walls if we misplace something. It's rather nice. Thanks, Pixar. Alright, looks like we're going to need a few more items. Still getting used to the menus, still kind of getting used to like the basis of it. But, of course, like I keep saying, it, it really does help to have already played Ark before. Can't place a structure there. Hmm. Oh, because it's a wall. It doesn't just build in cubes. You can only build it in wall form. So I need to build... I was thinking I could just place the cubes and create a roof. But no, 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 no. I need to actually craft... A roof. A ratch ceiling. Ratch the I can't talk tonight guys. I'm so sorry. I was literally uh, playing some Fortnite, getting ready for bed when uh, I got the email for the game and I was just like I My oh be is to talk my inner youtuber was like you need to just make the video go make the video like come on Everybody's waiting for you to post a Pixar video and then 
I got the code. It was so late. I was getting ready for bed. And then I got the email and I just had to get, I just, I got off. It's really late. And you guys are probably watching this really late, if at all, or even in the morning. Uh, but yeah, the video is going to be posted rather late, but I, I couldn't not post it for you guys. Cause I know, like, I know a lot of people, like even some of my diehard fans are probably like avoiding other people's videos just to make sure that they watch me playing Pixar first. And I appreciate all of you real diehard fans out there that just waited for me. Let me know if you're one of those guys that waited just for me to watch the Pixar because I know for a fact that I'm going to be a huge channel when it comes to Pixar. I'm going to be posting it all the time uh, and hopefully getting some PvP going in the future as well because the game seems like it could be pretty balanced for PvP. Just already knowing that it runs beautifully is enough for me to like be excited for PvP. So I'm going to get myself back up there. Yeah, do a little bit of this action, and then maybe a little bit of, uh, hmm, get some of that, and we need some of these. We'll do like, we only need like, what, like 15 of them? So it won't let me place a wall outside of a foundation. Well, oh, I'm so sorry. I just threw the poop. All right, so we need to get a little bit more clay, it seems like, or dirt or clay or whatever we need. So the environment is 100% destructible. So I find that really, really fun. Okay. So if you, if you think about it, when it comes to a, where the heck is this dirt? Five right there. Uh, when it comes to PVP, imagine like shooting people with rockets. It's going to destroy the land around you. Like, think about that. That is so cool. Being able to like destroy the land around you. Fully destructible environment during PvP. It's really gonna add another layer of spice to PvP and Ark for sure. Just like, you know, you put a little seasoned salt on the game. Just makes it just all the more better, you know? A little bit of health, going back and forth, health, stamina, etc. Here we go. So here's our base. Let me pick up this stuff. Clay's rather hard to break, holy crap. There's just like a two hits, it seems like. Here we go. There's a little house. It's kind of dumb looking, but it does the job, right? We can open and close the door. We have a spot to sleep. We have a nice chest inventory to work with. 15 slots. Couldn't be, couldn't be uh, much better than that, really. So hopefully you guys enjoyed episode one of Pixar. Please leave a like if you did. I appreciate it. All the support that you give my channel. I cannot wait to bring you more of this game. It's going to be a ton, a ton, a ton of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.